Hey everyone, it's me again, Funk Doc. Uh, sorry about the mic snafus over the last uh, video and a half or so. That should be corrected going forward. And this time we got a five player game on Germany. It's me against Daraj, DS Scott, John Flag, and Javis. Uh, John Flag is a long time experienced player. Um, with a bit uh, lower win rate than a lot of the rest of us in this. Javis is the new guy, obviously. But he's been playing a lot. And then uh, Daraj is a solid veteran, as is uh, Scott. Should be a good game here. Letting Javis know the rules for five player. How many? It still takes seven cities to trigger step three, but only 15 to end the game. I mean, to trigger step two, seven cities. But then it only takes 15 to end the game. All right. John Flake putting the five of Forbidden instead of the four. Interesting play. And one that I'm damn sure not going to fall for. Nor is anyone else for that matter. All right, so meanwhile, it's on to me, uh, and I gotta put the four up for bed. See if anyone pays nine for this. All right. So I get my four plant, which is good. Mmm, Javis goes for the 10. I've talked about this before in 5-player. In 5-player games with 4, 5, and 8 all in the game, I personally prefer the 9 over the 10. Coal is just stupidly expensive for the 10 after all those other players buying coal before you, like I'm doing right now. And you don't get to store any extra coal for the next turn either. And next turn could be a big one. Look at all these green plants out here on Germany. In five player, the green plants tend to be less valuable than in the smaller games. But Germany means we're going to get a longer game with expensive builds, so the green plants are still going to matter a lot. So I'll definitely look for somewhere to build one. There's the triple build from Daraj. Yeah, I'm a, I like that build. like that build for sure. I think what I do now, mm, you know what I could do actually, Mannheim is an option. I'm either thinking of building up in here or Mannheim, and this looks like a safer one build that gets me closer to cheap cities. I'll try this. This gets me bottom in the turn order, which will be valuable with all these other green plants in the game. There's John Flag building up here. That's the other build I was looking at. But I want to I wanna get a safe one build here. Someone else is going to build near Daraj, I'd expect. 
Triple build means you can build two and then still get to build before Darage on like turn three, which is realistically when you're going to build again, most likely. So Scott or Javis, one of these two will build probably like these, I think. Okay, that's interesting from Scott. I don't mind it though. It's a reasonable build. Gets you close to uh, the second cheapest part of the map. And now I bet Javis is going to go in here somewhere. That's my thought. He could take the twins, though, which I wouldn't want to see. Hopefully me taking Mannheim discourages Jay from building both of the twins here. And I can grab one or both of them myself. That's what I'm looking for here. And for those who still don't know, by when I say twins, I mean like two or more cities with a free, a free connection to each other. That's what I mean. I mean, I don't think you need to build in here because... I think Scott is pl pretty clearly angling for Magdeburg and going east here. Ugh, damn it, he did the thing I didn't want him to do. Oh, boo. That sucks. The problem is, that would make me have to go here than here in order to even begin to threaten this area. And it's going to take me a lot of time to get there. Plus, I'd want to protect Sootgart before then, I think. Because that could make for a juicy jump for Javis here. All right. I'm sure as hell not going to bid for 13. Nineteen. All right. Well, that's an interesting that. Oh no, Daraj had to buy a plant. It makes sense. People are going to bid for eighteen though. I mean, this is just objectively a better plant than twenty-two. So clearly, it's going to be worth at least twenty-three. Probably a little more. Oh no. <sighs> well, that's like the nightmare drops right there. I was hoping I could get a crack at 22 here. Oh, this sucks. John's going to buy a plant now, too, for sure. I assume he's going to buy the 9. I have to pass this and just hope maybe something remotely better comes up, but it's probably not going to, and it doesn't. Uh, I gotta buy seven now. Sucks, but it's what I gotta do. I think I take Sarbrooken first, then Stuttgart as my cities here. And 20 comes in. Okay. Meanwhile, 20 comes on. Normally, five player games, normally, that's some of the games where 20 is at its best. But not so much in Germany. I still not really excited about the 20.
Javis bidding so high for the 18 is interesting when he already got the 10 on turn one. Not sure how I feel about that play. At least I'm going to get bottom in the turn order now. So that's nice. Fifteen, alright, well. Daraj is probably going to buy that plant. Because he has thirteen and he has three cities already. So fifteen can do some work for him. I'm sure as heck not bidding on this though. Don't want nothing to do with no fifteen. John Flag bids for 15. Well then. Didn't see that coming, but John does make plays like that on occasion. When you don't expect them. Oh, well that's a little lucky for John at least. Dara still gets a better plant here though. Scott bids for 16. I sort of get it because Jay can't buy a plant here. Javis cannot buy a plant here. Got all the, all the low plants, they just keep coming. Oh, boy. The problem is now... Darush might pass now. I mean, 11, 11 is passable at this point. Darush might still buy 11, possibly. God. Lucky bids on 50. Oh no, even. Okay, 19. I can sort of see that. Trash restock comes in at a pretty high rate. Yeah, three per turn. So trash will still continue to get cheaper. Oh god. Do I take the 20? Do I dare take the 20? Because we know Jay's not going to buy anything here. Jay has to build and make use of 10, 10 and 18 together. Javis is not going to buy a plant this turn, as I expected. So... I don't think I take the 20 here. It's too early. What I'm going to do is just stay put here, I think. Okay, so uh, we're not going to have a very long market stall in this game then. Because, like, almost all the low plans have come already. What's particularly important for the flow of the market was 15 and 16 coming at a time when people would actually want to buy them. Because of that, the market's going to move quicker than normal, which favors uh, an efficiency based strategy. Make more money, get to the step three auction. And right now that might favor Javis out of anybody. I like the Casso build for DS Scott. I do like that build. Though I might have preferred Osnabrook as a better direct connection to the cheapest part of the map. That might cost Scott Magdeburg too, maybe.
I bet J has to go up here. J has to build up here, right? You gotta build up here, bro. Someone has to police Daraj in this part of the map. You cannot give one player all of these cities around here. What? The fuck? Okay, Jay didn't lose out on that much, I guess. But, uh, Daraj is going to make a good amount of money this turn compared to a lot of the rest of us plebes. Uh. Okay, Scott's bidding for 20. Makes me feel a little better about passing this, which I'm going to do. I want nothing to do with 20. Not with 10 and, 10 and 15 in the game here. Still bidding, huh? Yeah, there's only two plants left in the deck lower than 21. I just passed it right away there. If anybody else bid on it. This, on the other hand, is well worth bidding because the next couple plants app coming up after this are going to be worse, most likely. 22, like, almost certainly is going to come next, and that's a plant that I wouldn't pay much more than cost for at this point, maybe a little bit because Germany, but 21's still a hell of a lot better, especially in a five player game that's focused more on early capacity. Like a, or rather, I should say, like a lower capacity limit, lower capacity level to end the game, meaning that a four capacity plan is much easier to keep for the whole game. In okay, uh, yeah, that seemed pretty cheap to me, but sure. Okay, I'm not going to complain about this now. I'll get uh, Trier and Stuttgart, and I can store. I could buy one oil, I think, will be the play. Twenty seven I don't think is gonna get too much bidding, although it arguably should get some. Yeah, Javis is ready to bid. Kinda weird to me. If I were Jay, I would I mean I would just rather look to build and use the 10 and the 18 together. I have that cold sitting there on 10 that hasn't been used yet. Well, John got what looks to be a sweet deal on paper. We'll see how it plays out in practice because, uh, let me think. Make sure this is one more time. We do this, so yeah, I can buy an oil. I can afford one oil. And we do this. I think Javis shouldn't have bid, should not have bid for 27 personally because he has another fairly efficient plant to pair with 18 and he should build and make use of that plant first. Build that money base with that before targeting another big plant. Yeah. 21 was ridiculously cheap. I am very happy about that. I'm also happy that I'm currently looking to be lined up here to get, like, 10 Step 1 cities. But granted, these are expensive as hell, still.
And this easily forces Javis to go north now, for sure. He could still build to four even after bidding on 27. Okay, that's a, that's a better play than I gave it credit for then. A better play than I thought it was. So we know for a fact that 50 and 44 will be the next two plans to go into the deck. Those are the highest ones left in the game. Twenty-one went for less money than twenty-seven, which should never happen in a five-player game, I'm pretty sure. really in the mood for a second four capacity plant particularly here is there's a there's actually a somewhat decent chance of 35 showing up onto the market here got to be ready for that so don't think i want this now's not really the right time for me to buy a plant at all and john flag is looking pretty darn good here 32 and 29 at cost. John, uh, he has a lot of cities open too. I'm thinking John uh, might be the favorite to win this, honestly. Obviously, you replace the 29 here. That goes without saying. I mean the 9. 29 should replace the 9. Yeah, it goes without saying. Anyway, I'm just going to I'm just going to mash on oil right now. I think it's my plan. We're going to buy up a lot of oil this turn. 32 win at cost. We have to make sure oil does not stay cheap for it. And since 26 has not shown up yet, uh, I got to help police that. Although 16 with Dart with Scott, that should work for that too. I'd imagine Scott should get Magdeburg at least, which is nice. That actually does a lot to cut off John Flagg's options for more cities. If Scott could take Magdeburg, that'd be pretty sweet. And I'll just take all the three and four dollar oil now. Knowing Scott's still going to have to buy oil. Because Scott has to build this turn. Like, Scott... I imagine Scott has to take Magdeburg. That's a must. And 16 is the plant to power five cities with 16 and 22. So, yes, yeah, Scott's going to buy oil and not coal. That makes sense. Even though coal is, even though there's that one cheap four dollar coal sitting there, Javis sh still shouldn't buy any coal. I feel like, I mean, Javis is not gonna, he's not gonna get enough cities in step one to even use the ten right now with the two green plants. So,
Anyway, I should be able to stall at the bottom of the turn order here, which is what I'm looking at, because I'm looking at the twins and then up in here. If I can get these and then get up into at least some of this here in step two, that would be huge for me. So that's what's uh, the gist of it right now. Um, I mean, that 29 at cost is going to be so huge for John right now because we're jacking up oil so much. And Javis is right uh, not to buy any coal. Definitely agree with that decision. This is where he used to overbuy resources before because he's used to playing a lot of two-player. Darush doesn't build. Interesting choice. Like, he's going to run the 19 this turn and just kind of, like, stockpile coal for later, it seems. He's giving up a lot of land to Jay this, though. Jay is definitely going to build Aachen at the... Yeah. Scott does not build Magdeburg. Scott instead builds Osnabrück. Hmm. Magdeburg might have been a little better at this point. I don't know. Javis doesn't build either question mark i'm surprised he didn't take aachen at the very least so that you can power five cities and just use all your green plants that seems like a fine stalling plan to me okay i'm a little surprised that both uh scott and daraj not Okay, Javis misclicked. Javis meant to build Aachen. Must have, must have been. He... Oh, that was a misclick by him. That makes a lot more sense now. I was going to say, there was no reason for Jay not to build the five cities there. Doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't even affect his turn order at all right now. Stall shouldn't last too much longer here. We only have 17 as a major dud left in this deck, and then 23, which is quite mediocre. Everything else left is really strong right now. Even 24 is fine. I think I want to burn coal right now. Currently planning this out here. I think it's what I do. Darrow's just content to stall when burn trash and store coal. Okay. Now Javis should build Aachen. That's what he wanted to do last turn. Oh, he does jump past me. Okay. Okay. Question is, does he use the coal now? I'm not sure how I feel about that build, if he can only get the one city, but I don't have a strong desire to build beyond that now, so, yeah. 
John Flagg, I actually kind of agree with John not building the 7 here. John does not want to move the market right now. Although, maybe maybe John should have built a 7 anyway because... I don't know, I mean... Marcus should move a lot next turn anyway, I guess. Well, now the odds of... Thirty-five coming into the market have dropped a lot since the last time it could have happened, because we've gone through more high plants since then. There's still a couple left that could put it on though. I can definitely bid for thirty-one right now since I don't need it. I can just stall at four here, and I have two coal stored already with Daroj not able to buy any more coal beneath me. So that's a possibility. Scott has incentive to bid for this because he's a little lower on capacity, in base capacity. And also, he has a coal sitting in the eight. Javis might 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 put twenty four up for Ben. Maybe. Yep. Oh no, John actually puts 24 up. Huh. Again, uh, J John is always a, he's a man of many surprises. There's only two plants left in the deck that are worse than 24, I think. One of those plants came. Jay might buy 23, maybe. He might be tempted by that, that $1 uranium right there. Nope, he passes. Everybody passes, I'm going to pass too. Womp womp. Again, just going to grab all the $4 coal, because Scott might be tempted to store coal otherwise. And we know Javis is going to buy coal. Like, Jay is almost certainly going to build a 7 this turn. Like, he wants to be able to make money from his coal, which requires building one more city, and also triggering triggering step 2 benefits him right now. Since the market, market will be stalled for another turn if he doesn't do it. So, I think Jay is the player that will we'll need to build a 7 here. He desperately needs uh, big plants, so. Building to seven trigger step two removes the 11 from the game. That is what will allow him to make that happen.
Also, I feel really, really good about buying all, buying up all that coal earlier. Oh, Scott actually builds to seven. Javis will build to seven now because I think that's not going to affect them too much in turn order. Yeah, especially now. Scott building to eight, dang. I think Jay builds one more. He's just going to want to burn that coal and get the most money he can out of that coal. So he builds Mook in here, I bet. Yeah, Jay should build seven. No, oh, he builds two. Oh! Oh, that's what he does. I didn't realize he had the money for that. Okay. Jay's actually in not too shabby of a position, then. Oh god, 17 actually came. Okay. Well, the we needed to clear... So they actually cleared two plants on the market because Jay building to 11 put the 11 out of the game, and then after that, the 12 got removed is what happened. Now I'm going to switch to burning oil instead of coal again, I think think oh, wait. burn the coal because I see 26 on here and I don't see 25 yet I think this is what I do Is not going to be as sexy as it usually is in five player games. Not usually. Usually 30 is amazing in five player, but here we have 19 and 24 both sitting here. Not too likely to be replaced anytime soon. I'm not going to panic for 26 because, like, all the plants left are, are stuff that people's, people will buy. Hey, 35 actually comes on. Holy shnikes. All right. This is going to go for a lot now. And now I'm glad I kept my oil. Bump it up to 45. I'm betting this goes for over 50. Stop there. So here's what I get. I think I stopped now, though. All right, sweet. This should be good. I mean, Darosh could bid a lot for this plant to replace 19, though. That's feasible. We'll make sure it goes for a decent price, though. John really puts 30 up for bid. Okay. Okay, buddy.
Now I let John have this, I think. Twenty-eight. Well, unfortunately, this is going to drop twenty-five for Daraj. But honestly, I might prefer that with Daraj already having the twenty. Because we do have a seven in the game that can get me to fifteen next turn, possibly. Move all that coal off the four, get it out of the game. Forty two is there. Thirty eight was the one that I missed. Okay, that's the one that went under the deck that I missed. All right, so we have all the plants accounted for now. Here's the problem. Problem is this. Daraj can build south and block all my stuff here. But with me being lower in capacity, Having two four capacity plants, it's okay for a five player game. It's okay. A lot of my problems in this game stemmed from the fact that I didn't get a good plant drop on turn two. That's what I was banking on. Okay, at least I get the twins here. I think I, I think I did the build good here.
Not sure if I should have built less. I'll have my eye on 39 though. That'll be my target for next turn. Because what I'm looking at here is there's no way in hell I'd be able to end the game next turn, so I don't want to target a 7 capacity plant. I think I aim for like 16 in two more turns, probably. I'll just put this up for bid anyway, though. Do as a do a, bid this a little bit as a bluff, is what I'm thinking. I don't even know what John Flag's thinking about here. Like, John can't buy a plant. John's bought too many plants already as it is. This should be a better deal than 46, though, for sure. Considering I think 19 is likely to get replaced this turn, so I'd only have one other trash plant out against me. If I were to get this at cost. Like, I said I didn't want to pay too much for a 7 capacity plant, but like this one, if I can get this at cost, I'll take it. Which it looks like I'm going to do. John's spending a lot of time thinking here. Don't know why, buddy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He did the right thing. I know it may seem painful to give me that planet cost, but it's the right thing to do. Oh, I see what Darrell is going for. Oh, Darrell just probably going to go for like 36 to replace the 20 and then just build the 15 in the game this turn.
Yeah, looks like Daraj might end the game this turn. Scott getting 39 at cost is a big, big, big deal. Uh... It's just one of those games where it feels like everybody's poor. Problem is, I'm not happy with Scott keeping 19. That's going to take a lot of wind out of the sails in my 38 there. Uh, oh, man. Any anyway, rate, yeah, thirty-eight turns is turning out to be a hell of a lot better deal than forty-six. Although it may not matter, we'll see if Daraj just like ends the game now. His resource buys seem to suggest that resource buy and his plant choice. Okay, he doesn't end the game. All right, all right. Well, I can at least... I actually can get second from bottom in the turn order if I don't build now. So I'm definitely not going to build. Problem is, Daraj would be the top player. Unfortunately. But that's fine. I can live with this.
I wanted to put doubt in people's minds by buying the uranium, even though I cost myself a dollar doing that, I guess. I wasn't so sure how much others would build, because I knew people didn't really have a lot of money at this point. John Flake might still end up winning this, actually. We'll have to see. His builds are going to get blocked hard. Like, he's going to be uh, second from top in the turn order here. So he could have a hard time building. This is uh, going to be an interesting finish. Not sure if anyone will even reach uh, 16 here. I don't think I don't think I can buy a plant and play for 16 here. Not at all. I just have to accept 15, which tells me that 38 was the right move for me over 39. I'd also work actually Scott's one to watch out for. Scott getting 39 at cost worries me. Darosh gets first build, so now he can do math, which is nice. I feel like it comes down to, if Darosh buys a plant, he can win this game. But if he doesn't buy a plant, it's going to be me. Well, maybe it could be me. I'm not even sure. Actually, this is interesting. I'm not even sure about this. Javis might bait me. Possibly. Okay. that's That's encouraging to me. Game's going to end at 15 this turn, and so it looks like Daroj and I are both playing for 15. Although it is annoying that he has to buy the trash there. Yeah, Daroj, well, yeah. If Daroj is really that close to getting to 16, then yeah. He probably beats me. I didn't have a great start to this game was my issue. Javis jumping past all my builds in the south hurt me. And mainly it was just me playing for turn order from my starting build and then bad drops coming. Like a lot of bad drops came on turn two. Where I couldn't put myself in a position to get one of those green plants. That's what I was eyeing. Yeah, Darosh, Darosh still has cheap builds, too. Can get, like, these in here, and then Aachen here. That's what I'd be... I think those are the ones he's going to take. Aachen hurts me, too. Because that'd be one of the cities that I'd want. Alas. Alas. Ooh, I get Osnabrook. That's nice. Let's do math on this. That one leaves me with 37, whereas... Uh, uh... Twenty-eight. 
Mm -hmm. I guess those are my cheapest builds, sucky as that is. Well, I just took away, like, all these cheap cities for Scott, so. Scott still has options, though. Scott has Duisburg here, which is cheap, and then the stuff up here. There's a lot of stuff left for Scott. John Flagg's not going to get to 16, so I'm going to beat him at least. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to lose to both Daraj and maybe even Javis on money. Hey, Scott can't get to 16 either. Okay, so I beat Scott. John Flagg's builds got bodied, so he's not getting the 16. You know what? I just realized I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a slight mistake in the building then. Oh. I mean, I know I'm beating... I know I'm going to beat John Flagg and Scott. I know I'm going to beat those two for sure. Because I have a decent amount of money left at 15. Javis claims no way he wins. Darosh thinks I've got him beat by a lot, which I kind of doubt, but... Let's see. Everybody finishes at 15 cities. What the heck? Nice game. Yeah, Dar I'm pretty sure Daraj wins then. Yep. Called it. Good win, Daraj. And I finished behind Javis too, even, huh? That really owes it that one really owes itself to the rougher start, I think. The builds. Like my 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 builds were like okay, but not in terms of step one cities. But really it was again, I feel like it was the bad market on turn two did a lot to hurt me. Cause turns two and three I didn't I didn't get any good plants. I was stuck running the seven for a couple turns there. I think that more than anything is what did me in. Very well done, Daraj. Uh, he was kind of under going under my radar the whole game in terms of candidates to win. I have my eye more on John Flagg. But uh, Flagg and Scott both ended up with this early capacity strategy, and that's just not what's going to win in Germany, even on five-player most of the time. Especially here when we had so many of the bad plants early that the market was not going to stall late.
Javis paying for the green plants almost won it for him. Almost. It was really close between him and Daroj. Daroj turned out to just, uh, you know, 13 at cost. Then he got the 20 really cheap. Like, Daroj got 20 super cheap. And Cole just never got expensive from there. I think that's that's what did it. Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, well done to all the players. That was a really nice finish there. And see you...